How's it going, guys? Hotman Spider here. With a 1v1 this time, playing against uh, Romich, game two of Max Kov's tournament. Um, playing as mid war Soviet support doctrine, I believe. It's been a couple days since we played this game. So, just sending single riflemen off to the southwest. Got a scout squad going up to the northeast. And a guards rifle squad heading to the center. Maybe it's a guards SMG squad. I'm not 100% sure there. Anyways, <clears throat> this was a pretty good game. I love this map. And I try to be aggressive on this map when possible. He's playing as Finland. I think he's playing the Defense Doctrine, if I recall. He was playing the Defense in the early war as well. I forget what he played in the late war game. Maybe... Uh, oh, he was all around, I believe. But... <clears throat> catch him out in the open here a bit with the scouts. Getting up to position quicker. So we're able to uh, stop that advance. Fall back, just because uh, he has rifles there. So we follow those SMGs back, get them healing up. And uh, we're sending this guard's rifle squad into the point. He is holding the southwest point with the squad, so he's got cap weight there. He's using his... Uh, Molotovs to try and clear the cover there, so that's kind of interesting. But overall, things aren't going too bad off the start here. Get another MG squad to put up on the uh, hill here. Lay down some more fire support for the boys. See, he's burning down all the uh, bays of hail or whatever they're called. He's got a T20 coming up here, so I have nothing really to counter it at this moment. So I throw some smoke and uh, head to the far side of the church here. But he's rushing into the point to uh, capitalize on this. So I'm just kind of watching here. And I see his guys coming out, so I know they're riflemen, so try to use the boys there to push him off. Somewhat worked. But he's capping with that T20 now. So. We do get the armored car coming out. Heading over to the southwest point. I think he's sending over the T20 to uh, clear the center. So, rushing up with the uh, car here. Looking to clear his boys out here. Take the... Uh, take the cover out if possible. Not sure what uh, knocked it out completely there. The tires got roasted or something. Sending a recon squad. He's trying to kill the crew inside of it. <clears throat> throwing smoke on it. Not a bad idea because he's got the uh, Willie Pete smoke. Gets a uh, AT, AT grenade on it. So that does knock it out. So we got the tank commander out here. He's trying to go to work here a little bit. This tank commander's clearing out the uh, position for us, so unexpected, but sometimes that's what you need. You need a little luck like that. Recon boys are pulling up on the spot here. 
So we are capping the southwest. Five minute marks coming up. Listening in the distance, see what he's got. Pull up a T60 here. We do got a rifle squad, I think, heading over to the northeast. So like I said, this was the best uh, two out of three with me and Ramich. He ends up winning the series. But uh, I, I think you guys probably might have watched Max Kov's um, channel there. So it's probably not really a spoiler at this point. But it's definitely fun, fun little series and uh, fun, to, fun to play against a really good player. So, And like I always say, you learn, you learn a lot more when you lose. So I've learned quite a few things playing against... Uh, Ramish and some of the boys there from the Discord things I didn't really know. So <clears throat> T60 clears out the position for me. And the rifle squad's good to move in. Still listening in the distance to see if he uh, is pulling anything out. You can see we're uh we are capping this point now. T60 ends up team killing. Great. <laughs> Using the T60 here. Trying to uh, clear out his guys coming in. I'm not sure what squad that was. What just came in. I don't know if it was an AT squad maybe. But... Uh, Got, I think he's got an AT rifle or something up there somewhere. We got a commissar coming out at seven minutes. Yeah, you can see he's got an AT rifle somewhere. So stunning the crew. That would have been an unfortunate loss there. Still using the tank here to clear out positions. Get a rifleman to come recrew. But uh, just trying to be as aggressive as possible on this. And uh, try to keep the advantage in my, in my favor here. So <clears throat> trying to keep a triple cap, which is hard to do. But I think he's playing the defensive doctrine. So. His first line, uh, whatever he was getting, wasn't as wasn't that strong. He ha I think he went for the heavy engineers maybe to create some uh, defenses, which uh, worked well on the previous maps. But uh, I think the problem here was it was the you know the pressure early the early pressure kind of caught up. So. You can see he's trying to assault the uh, northeast. We got a SMG squad over here holding it down, so. Throwing grenades. So we're pulling the T60 back over to the northeast. Got a guards rifle squad coming to the south west point try and uh, hold that up you can see we're still holding the northeast pretty easily here from that assault SMG guys did their job kind of laying down find it's hard it's hard to assault an SMG squad <clears throat> you know if you got a guy a squad of STG 44s laying down it's like damn near impossible to assault that. Same thing with the PBSHs. They're just... They're a hard weapon to uh, assault. So you can see we got a cap going on in the uh, southwest there. Bringing the T-60 around to support that assault. But we are capping. We've got the weight. So we got a triple cap. At the 10 minute mark, we're getting into a triple cap here. 
Like I said, I was just looking to keep the pressure high here. Bring up another SMG squad to the center. Actually, we sent it over to the northeast. I think he wasn't too worried about assaulting the uh, center on me. As you can see, he's got an engineer building a, a bunker over there. I don't know if I noticed it or not. But I think I was more concerned with just keeping the points capped. If he would have built that, I don't know. It would have been interesting. I don't know what I had in the doctrine that could have stopped those coastal guns if he would have got them up. But, like I said, triple cap at the 10 minute mark. Trying to keep, keep aggressive on them. Got this recon squad up here just on the edge. <clears throat> Keeping them uh, from able to push in, you know. So. We destroyed their cover as well with the uh, BA. So. We get a squad coming up to the northeast just in time for his counterattack over there. Like I said, I just wanted to keep as much pressure as possible going, so. See a big attack coming in here. Get this squad into the point here. Getting everyone laid down there. Just want to keep the weight. Just quite happy with that. We sent up the uh, armored car there just to create some extra protection recon squad you can see he's assaulting the uh, center we get this recon squad heading up to the center here I'm trying to move all my men out of the uh, you know where that gun can shoot so he's got a Bofors cannon in the center there Pretty decent uh, bit of kit that Bofors gun, but we're coming up to that uh, 13 minute mark here, and it's 9:46 to 2:10. So, pretty strong lead. He does have those coastal guns up, but I think they just took a little bit too long to uh, get out. So. He is capping the center point, but we got those recon guys rushing up to uh, reinforce that because he's only got 0.5 advantage, so there we go. That's pretty much the game, but good game, Ramich. I know you've won the last however many games, but uh, appreciate that game, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thanks, guys. Cheers.